let's start up that recording for the next one and let's uh let's jump into this and see how we do I will make an adjustment to our stream decker. For those adjustments we made. Three, zero. Okay. So this hand, we are going to be dropping the Allosaurus turn one for sure. And then we're just looking for a Neoform or a Eldritch. So because of that, I think we're okay to keep this. We're just looking for one of two cards in the deck. And we're gonna have two draws because we can go mana, mana, and then we'll mana Morphos and see if we hit it as well, so. All the mana in the world. That's a lightning storm, not quite what we were looking for. Let's cast this. Exile, exile, land, no, pass. Still just need to hit a, a Neoform or a Eldritch and we should be pretty good. I guess we can just beat them up to three. We're okay with a Phoenix. Opponent can't kill this Allosaurus Rider. We're just hoping they can't flip that thing in the ice. Uh, 
We're also hoping they don't realize that if we swing here and they don't block, they die to lightning storm. <laughs> oh, what a weird way to win. Alright folks, we don't need to combo to win. We just play Allosaurus on turn one and then we're good to go. I don't think I have that bot going. I should get that bot going for you guys. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this hand's not as aggressive, but it's got a lot of can traps. We're just searching for the Allosaurus at this point, so I think I'm okay to keep this. We'll go turn one, Serum Visions, see if that's good enough to set ourselves up for it. Just need to hit an Allosaurus. Come on. Or packed. And they're tapped out right now. How good would it be? Come on. Alright, we're professional magic players. We're gonna hit it off this. We did. <laughs> oh. Dissenters and Cantor. Neoform. Oh. We're so good. We're so good. Oh boy. We need to hit that shoal. Yes. And then we'll need to noxious that on top of our deck, pay the life, draw the cards. We hit a pact. Pact for the big old worm. Disrupting sure. I mean, not disrupting show, nourishing show the warm. Do we brick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, we didn't brick. I saw plenty of cards to draw. Alright, that's the storms. Let's cast the rest of the packs. It's unfortunate 
that the nourishing shoal and the uh, noxious is what's left in the deck. We really need to hit the nourishing shoal off this next one. Get one more draw, right? Okay. All right. And we'll have to make sure to hold priority. <laughs> you guys are great. Oh, this deck is fun. This deck is fun. This is a very reasonable magic deck. This is this is what we're looking for in modern, right? This is this is magic as Richard Garfield intended. Okay. We don't have the Allosaurus. We technically don't have the mana. We can get the mana. And then we can Eldritch. I think this hand's worth it. We can. We're going to get an extra draw here. And then we'll just try to assemble with the uh, Serum here. Okay, we already have this. We got the land, so let's just bottom, bottom, and we'll pass. Oh yeah, I feel like this deck is, this, this is just perfection. This deck is just perfection to crush people. God, Reese, thanks for joining, man. Uh, this is Neoform, where we turn one kill people. Uh, the last league we did, we went 2 3, and then this one we had just started and we're 1 0. We're going to do one more league with this deck, and then I'm going to shift gears, play uh, one league with the Genitron, and I'll probably call it a night from there. But this deck, this, this deck is fun, Reese. You're, you're going to like this. I was just checking to see if Nourishing Shell actually said uh, target player gains life or you gain next life. Because it would be interesting to make a Death Shadow gain a bunch of life and lose their, lose their shadows from it. Okay. I think this is our worst matchup, by the way. The amount of hand disruption and stubborns they have is probably pretty bad for us. Good thing they don't have a clock. Okay. We 
We could go for it, discarding the two mana Morphos. I think we're just going to wait an extra turn here. See if they want to burn some stuff. Or do we want to just go for it right now? If we go for it, I'm expecting them just to have stub. We don't actually... I, I didn't want to cycle the mana morphos because we need them in order to cast our Allosaurus. Is the thing. Alright, we're doing it. All right, I just want to bring the ley lines in here for the most part. I think we're good with just not getting the... the... <laughs> oh my gosh, we're so good at this game. All right, I'm going to cut those actually. And then let's cut the dissenters. I don't... Do we want Pact? I feel like Pact's a bit much here. I feel like this hand's sweet. So we'll just go land Cantor, and then next turn we'll pact, and we'll just pact, get this, get our items, pitch away the evolution and the other pact, drop the Allosaurus, Neoform sack, we're good to go. Hope they don't have removal. <gasps> They're just going to drop a shadow? They don't even care? Get rid of the Eldritch and the Metamorphose Blue, Green. Neo form Gristle Daddy Pact Worm Pact We got one in hand. We didn't have the lightning storm. Hmm. 
Mm -mm. Yeah, Noxious. Noxious, the this, uh, the shoal, generate the mana. Okay. They're just going to concede. That's kind of them. But yeah, you're right. Uh, we would have just been able to sim uh, Spirit Guide, generate the mana for the Mana Morphos, uh, Noxious Revival, the disrupt, uh, the Nourishing Shell on top of our deck, draw, draw, and then we get to draw seven more cards, and then we would just kill them. Opponent didn't even want to see it. They're just like, you've got it. I'm not going to wait for this. He did just get quanged. Quanged so hard. All right, we'll gladly go first. So this hand can go off, but we don't have enough blue cards yet. We can go Serum Visions just to try to set ourselves up with the blue cards, and then the following turn win, and I think that's pretty good for us, so we'll keep this. and a Cantor. Those are two green cards. So we'll just go top, top, like that. Pass it. Ooh, Quang Gang. That's pretty good. So Reese has been uh, trying to get me to come up with something, and that sounds pretty good. So next turn we draw the Cantor. And then we can just go off, right? We have two mana, three mana with the Spirit Guide. We go Pact for the Allosaurus, ditching the Mana Morphos and the, and the, uh, the Cantor. And then we just go from there. Blank there. Should we should we spirit guide into Metamorphos just to get an extra draw first? I don't think it matters, yeah. Hmm. 
We've got one, two lands. That's all we've hit so far. So I think we're going to want to disrupting, I mean, a nourishing shoal, the chancellor, and then we're going to noxious revival, the disruption shoal on top of our deck. And then we got one draw left. Into, unless we hit another creature. We just got to believe. Try to see at this point here. I think we use the Manamorphosis just to get some extra draws in and cycle them. The shoal's at the end here, but I want to see if we can get a pact or a worm. Because that'll ink, so as deep as we can get with it, I think, is our best bet. So let's, let's generate ourselves the mana. And let's metamorphose. Awesome, we hit a pact. Get the worm. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The stream overlay covers it? Okay. No, we're, we're good, though. Um, we have nine lands, so that's going to 18 them, plus the original uh, three. So that's it. We've got lethal. Oh, no! I just cast it! Whoa! Oh, my... I just... What? I just threw away the game. We've had this. I misclicked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. We had lethal. We had it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is it. We had the win. Oh. oh, I'm so disappointed with myself. No, we died to all the packs we cast. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We won that game. I misclicked. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh.
Uh-uh-uh. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. All right, let's bring in the packs. Nah, it's not the opponent's fault. We we know we won that one. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, this hand... We get to turn one a chant... I mean, a turn one to Allosaurus... <laughs> um okay so this hand we can metamorphose into metamorphose and see if that's good enough mm. uh, this hand's close i think i'm willing to risk it But Varentine, we won. Okay, they're mulling out to like four cards. Okay, we won't give them the opportunity without doing it though. Let's just Serum Visions, see if we can hit the lands in the Neo form and take over the game that way. We hit the land. We'll put the Manamorphos on bottom. And we'll keep the Confluence on bottom as well. No, we'll keep it on top because in case we hit the Eldritch. So we'll just pass it over. The mirror. We don't have an answer to our own Allosaurus other than the paths, right? Do you think? Do we think they boarded it in? I guess it's fine. We'll just pass. We're just we're just waiting for um, an Eldritch or a Neoform. You're still going with Amulet. Okay. Do we run out the Allosaurus right now? Because we're going to have to discard anyway. And we've got more packs to fetch up Allosaurus if we need it. Give me one second. How is that? Shrunk things down a bit. Cleaned it up. Things are pushed to the top, and that way you guys can see that card without the, a problem. All right, let's metamorphose then.
There's the Eldritch. So that's good. We can just try to go off now. Okay. We will move phases. Alrighty. We've got the lightning storm. So we've got that, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we got nine, so we can just, we've got lethal. We'll draw an extra card. But uh, that should be it right there. Oh, they could, they could disrupting shoal us, right? But then we'll just pack those disrupting shoals. Sorry, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty one. No, no, we we want to let them redirect and then we redirect them.
You know, with us knowing our own deck, should we be bringing in the Ley Lines here? Because we can't really kill, right? Yeah, the Lightning Storm is sweet. Yeah, I would agree that this is the mirror. Um, yeah, I think we swap out the the packs for the ley lines. Yeah, they could be on. You want to put in the nature's claim for the ley line? So what we're saying the bring in claims like all four claims do we want to do like one or two of those and then a couple packs or is packs not even worth it here because if we You want to keep the Cantor? You want just one claim? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do the Ley Lines. Let's just keep the Ley Lines. We'll run it. If they don't bring in the claims, they don't have it. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep it then. I think we're just going to serum here. Just serum here, draw, see if we can set ourselves up. We're really just looking for a pact or an allosaurus, right? I'm gonna bin the Chancellor. Do we wanna also bin the Worm? The only reason I was keep thinking about keeping the Worm is that we could, if they get rid of our Ley Line, we can Nourishing Troll ourselves up higher life than they can kill us with. So if they go off, we just gain the life, and if they didn't bring in the packs, we win the game. All right. I guess if they have to nature's claim it. Yeah, if they have to nature's claim the uh, ley line, we can just nourish and shoulder put ourselves a much higher life total anyway.
Alrighty. Yeah, they're gonna be on the they're gonna be on the gristle beats. I think we're just gonna try to draw here. Okay, we got a Pact, which is good. Now we just need to get another Mana. As soon as we get one more Mana, we can try to go off, and I think we're good. If we do this, we can't pay for the pact unless we hit a spirit guide. We get one, no, well, we get two draws. So let's go for it. Okay, that's a spell pierce. And that's definitely going to be a game at this point then. So we definitely should have won that, obviously, because I misclicked. <laughs> so we should be 3-0, but uh, spell pierce seems pretty sweet from the side. Yeah, Pierce makes a lot of sense, because uh, if we ever try to stop or um, to do a pact, we just can't pay for it ever, really. I mean, we're going off in, like, turn two, turn three, so. Okay, we can go Mana Dork, Land go off no we need we can't we don't just go off all right we're, we're gonna keep it though because we ju we're just looking for a neil form or an eldritch and then we're good Love. Counter target sorcery. Okay. I think we're gonna run out the Cantor first. Because next turn if we serum, if we had a Neoform, we can still go off. Okay, non-creature spells, they get a 1-1. One, one. Target artifact becomes a copy of another artifact. Okay. Or target, yeah, target artifact you control becomes a copy of another artifact. Or creature you control. Mm -hmm. On top of being an artifact. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really looking to go off turn 1. If we do it, great. I'm just really, I think the turn 2, turn 3 is sweet, though. And 
Thanks for the follow, Pugnabar. Pugnabar. And I. F mm -mm -mm. What kind of shenanigans are they doing with this? This deck is pretty good. It's pretty fun. Yeah, and it should be 3 out right now. Lastly, we went 2-3. And yes, 100% uh, agree. I think this is a deck with the London Mulligan in effect. How rude. I think we're just going to draw here because I wanted to see if we can get closer to a Eldritch Evolution or a Neoform. This Decentra's Deliverance actually might be main board answer to what they got going on here so why don't we just pass I'm not really sure what they're doing huge turn four violator yeah yeah this deck uh, this deck violates that rule pretty hard It can turn one, absolutely. I think it is fairly consistent because there's a lot of redundancies with this deck, which is really amazing. Oh, is this just guy ascendancy? Right? That's what we're playing against right now. Hey, breaking the limit. Thanks so much for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Breaking my limit? Breaking my limit. Alright, let's draw a card here. There's the Eldritch. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to cast Allosaurus. We're going to pitch Dissenters, Deliverance, and the other Allosaurus. 
and then we'll Eldritch it away, and I think we're good from there. That's rude of them. But we draw it anyway, so we don't really care. We've hit the three guides and the lightning storm. And that should be game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 13 damage there. We'll do one more just in case. All right, that's 15 opponent. Boom. All right, so this is just guy ascendancy, right? So do we just bring in the nature's claim and then just hold those up to take them out of anything? And then take out the dissenters because we just want to hit that. We can trim. Bring in packs, okay. All right, what other cards do you guys want to cut then? Good. Let's run it. The 
So, like, I think I own all, like, the expensive stuff for this deck already. So, it wouldn't be much to get the rest. Uh, this hand's not doing anything. We're missing way too many combo pieces. This hand... We're really short on mana in this hand. Yeah, like, we'd have to hit, like, land, land, and then still hit a green source to go off. Like, a green spell, right? But, yeah, I feel like this hand could get there. They should be giving us enough time to set up, so let's keep this one. That's another Allosaurus. Let's bottom that. We really just want to hit those lands. Yeah, if we draw Neoform, this is turn one win. That's not really a card we ever want to draw. It's so helpful, giving us life. Okay, we really need those lands, deck. Yeah, there's a there's a good chance we might be dead here. Yeah, the the opener was uh Sanctum Allosaurus, Eldritch, Chancellor, Pact Pact. We just drew the other Gristle brand. That means we can't combo anymore, folks. Should we just scoop it up here? Because uh, the only other thing we're going to be doing is uh, Allosaurus Beats. Let's run that back. Alright, that's six lands. Let's ship that.
Uh, this is another hand that's similar. We need uh, we need to hit another green source and another mana. And if we do that, though, we get to go off. But this is this, the earliest this is going to go off is turn three. Do we think this is good enough to keep here? Because I'm leaning towards yes. We get to have a scry, see if it's a land. If it's uh, a land, then we just need to hit any green spell in our deck, and then we can go off. But we do need to hit two in a row. I think we're going to keep this. Manamorphose. I think we're going to bend that to the bottom. We're just looking for another land first. Once we hit that land, we can hit any green spell. Alright, we got the land. We just need to hit any green spell now, and then we're good. Okay, we didn't hit that green spell, but this should set us up for it. Okay, that's fine. We'll put the Neoform, I mean the Noxious on top and the Botanical. We don't really need the Botanical, right? We're going to just bottom that, draw the Noxious, go off next turn. I'm like pretty excited our opponent's playing Groves and giving us life. one turn too late but just guy ascendancy has been known to draw a bunch and then fizzle But we're just chilling here, folks. Oh, Ideas Unbound. That's a fun card for them.
Uh, do I have my Tron list around? Do you mean my Genie Tron list or the non-Genie list? Yeah. Give me one second. That's the list we're going to be playing next. So the only reason I don't want to F6 is that we can Nourishing Shoal, um, the Allosaurus, just to gain um, the 7 life in case they swing prematurely. I'm not 100% on, um, on the deck yet, of course. I'm, I'm still playing around with that Genitron list. Um, the recent additions that we just played around with on this was the adding the, the, uh, the Filigree Familiar. That seems pretty sweet. Um, talking to the people in that uh, one chat on, on Discord. Oh, yeah, he did silence us. So we can just have six. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% on the Thrag Tusk and the Nature's Claim right now. Um, actually leaning towards just cutting the Thrag Tusk from the side and then not even worrying about it. And then that way we can dedicate another card to um, another Nature's Claim and then possibly... Um, we're just dead, right? On board, they swing, we die, we can't gain life. Yeah. So let's concede here. Let's move on to the next one. All right. Let's jump into the last match of this league here. Yeah, I'm leaning towards cutting that Thrag Tusk. Um, not, just not that impressed with it right now. If I cut the Thrag Tusk, like I said, I could put like a Ballista back into the side. I really like that right now, is um, having that fetchable Ballista. And then just go to three Nature's Claim, but... Still a work in progress. The uh, We did end up cutting the Chalice from the side. We had found that a lot of times the Trinisphere was uh, doing all the work that we were looking for out of the Chalice anyway. So we ended up making that swap. Trinosphere has been really strong. Really, really strong. Slows so many decks down that gives us... so Because we're just trying to buy another turn. And win that way. Um, this hand's really not doing anything fast. Even if we hit Allosaurus, we've got to get another green card. I think we're shipping this. <laughs> well, this hand's gonna have a 1-1 a one, one Allosaurus. Oh yeah, Genitron. We're on that next, don't you worry. Okay, I think we can keep this. This isn't ideal. We don't have fast mana. We're, we need to hit two mana sources in a row here, but we've got two of our combo pieces and we've got land. Um, Genitron is just the uh, 
using the new Karn. Okay, that's fine. They wanna they wanna do F for zero. There's Chancellor. We're still just looking for mana. Yeah, so what that Genie Tron or Great Tron or Wish Factory um, deck is looking to do is just drop um, Karn the Great Creator on top of its normal um, Tron shell. And then we just look to Microsynth Lattice them on top of our normal win con. So then we just beat them that way. All right, we just need to hit one more land. Yeah, if you want to stick around, we should be playing that within um, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes tops. We're just looking for, after this league, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and then we'll be jumping into the Genitron. Mm -mm -mm. We still need to just head on the land. And we have to hit it this turn, possibly. Yes, we did it. All right, so we're going to Allosaurus. Get rid of the Pact. And the Chancellor. All right, we can't activate Gristlebrand yet. We can just pass and uh, see if this is good enough. gonna swing here let's cast the serum first we don't need either of those and we're on a draw seven we need to hit a Yeah. We need to hit a nourishing shoal here. And we do. on top That should be enough right there. So 
So, exile, 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 target them, land, land, land. Okay. All right. We got there against them. I think we're just trying to combo here, right? We don't really care about them trying to do anything to us, so I don't even really want to do anything to our board here. So let's just run it back. This is a turn two hand, right? We got Wild Cantor, turn one, and then we Allosaurus, Exiling Allosaurus and Cantor, and Neoform. So, we're good. It's down to four cards. They're Are they going to turn one chalice us? Because if they are, that's going to make this wild cantor pretty bad. But we still just need to hit another land and we're fine. Oh, damping sphere. Okay. We can deal with that. Because they are down to one card. We can combo off real slow. I'm absolutely cool with that. Allosaurus. Discarding these two. And then Neil Form paying the one extra. And then we have a Gristle Brand in play. I think we're good with that. Oh, actually, we'll do a Get Rid of Eldritch. And Cantor. Like, we're not going to try to go off or anything. We're just going to deal with having 8 in play. All right. This deck is a lot of fun. It's definitely much better with that London Mulligan rule in effect. So we're going to wrap that up for this deck. We're going to swap over to 